This is Mrs. Mafucci. Let's continue our discussion on electrolytes. Acids, bases, and salts are all good conductors of electricity. Well, let's consider now how ions form in acids. Remember, how ions are formed depends on the chemical bonding in the substance that is dissolving in water. Acids are held together by polar covalent bonding and produce ions in a process called ionization. Ionization is a two-step process. Step 1. The first step is when the hydrogen ion separates from the negative ions. Step two is when the hydrogen ion that has been separated combines with the water and forms the hydronium ion, H3O positive. Let's consider two examples of acids that ionize in water. Number one, the ionization of hydrochloric acid. In step one, the hydrogen ion separates from the negative ion. Notice in this equation, the hydrogen and the chloride ion separate. In the second step, the hydrogen ion combines with water to form the hydronium ion. This is the second step. The overall equation is when you combine the reactants on the left side of the arrow with the products on the right side of the arrow and you can cancel out the hydrogen ion that's found on both sides of the arrow. This gives us an overall equation of HCl plus H2O goes to H3O positive and Cl negative. Now let's look at hydrobromic acid, HBr. Step one is when the hydrogen ion separates from the negative ion. HBr goes to H plus and Br negative. When you look at that equation, doesn't it look like it's just dissociation? So really the first step is just the dissociation of the ions. But then, in the second step, the hydrogen ion that is released combines with water to form the hydronium ion. In order to come up with the overall equation, you combine the reactants on the left side of the arrow with the products on the right side of the arrow, and you can cancel out the hydrogen ion found on both sides of the arrow. This gives us an overall equation of HBr plus H2O goes to H3O positive and Br negative. Ionization of a diprotic acid. Diprotic acids have two hydrogens to release when they ionize in water. And even though they have two hydrogens, both hydrogens come off at different times in two separate reactions. Both hydrogens do not come off at the same time. So right now, I'm just going to write the two ionization reactions but I am not going to divide each of the ionization reactions into two separate where you have the dissociation and then the reaction of the hydrogen ion to produce hydronium ion. I'm just going to give you the overall equation. Sulfuric acid is a diprotic acid made up of H2SO4. 
when it reacts with water, only one of the hydrogen ions of H2SO4 comes off. That leaves you with this equation. At another time, that HSO4 negative ion, that hydrogen sulfate ion, can also react with water in ionization to produce the hydronium ion and the sulfate ion. There are two separate reactions as each of the hydrogen ions come off at different times. Notice that the second equation is an equilibrium reaction. Let's now consider the ionization of a triprotic acid. Triprotic acids have three hydrogens to release when they ionize in water. And again, it's important to recognize that the three hydrogens come off at different times in three separate reactions. The three hydrogens do not come off at the same time. In the first step, phosphoric acid reacts with water to release one hydrogen. In the second step, that H2PO4 ion that was formed, that also reacts with water to form hydronium and the HPO4 to negative ion. And now in the last step, the third and final hydrogen comes off in an ionization reaction to produce hydronium ion and phosphate ion. Notice that all three of these ionization reactions are equilibria reactions. That means these are weak acids with equilibria that lie to the left.